Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for September 2021, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and for cross watchers. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at the guiding energy for September. What is going on with Taurus? If this reading resonates with you guys, let me know. Drop a heart in the comment box. Leave a comment. It definitely helps my channel to grow and beat out these algorithms that YouTube has going on. All right, so for Taurus for September, we have Caregiver. All right, two more, please, for Taurus. Loner. Starcross. Starcross Lovers. An introvert really interesting so somebody here is definitely an introvert um, all right so we have caregiver the loner energy wanted dead or alive so somebody may very well be um, a loner or really big introvert maybe having a hard time breaking out of their shell now we have star crossed which really is focused on star crossed lovers it's like why is the timing always off or never right all right, so I'm going to pull one for the guiding energy or situation. All right, so guiding energy, please. What is going on with Taurus? Okay, so we have the Lord of Grails, which is the Knight of Cups. So this very well, for some of you, may be a love matter. I'm going to pull three for the situation. Strength is in reverse. Yeah, so somebody here may need to find their inner strength. When it's in reverse, it's needing to gather all the strength possible. So someone may be going through a challenging time right now. Um, if this is you, then maybe you've been feeling down and out and you need to reclaim your personal power. The fool. An opportunity for something new for some of you. It may involve taking a risk. The Fool's Journey. All right. So we have the Prince of Skulls, which is the King of Pentacles. So, you know, you have that Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, Earth sign energy. All right. So, yeah, for some of you, maybe you've just been feeling like really down in the dumps. Um, needing to reclaim your personal power, get back out there, take some risks. So, you know, we do have this Knight of Cups. So I want to clarify that. What is this Knight of Cups, this incoming message or offer? Look, King of Pentacles again. All right. Yeah. So I'm feeling like someone here is really closed down. We've got that introvert energy going on. We've got star crossed loner look at this four of pentacles somebody is really holding on tight to something could be the heart you know could be definitely some past hurt um five of wands so someone here could very well be going through like a major internal struggle could be you know an outward battle yeah with other people but i do feel like this is really internal king of pentacles we have the lovers so for some of you, I do feel like this reading is really finding all your personal strength. You could naturally be someone who is a caregiver, a lover, like a big teddy bear, but for some reason, you're having a difficult time maybe trying to express that side of yourself or take a, take a risk. Could be a fear of getting hurt um, or taking a risk in some aspect of your life. So the lovers is saying, follow your heart. It's a blend of two different energies. You've, you know, it shows the feminine, the masculine energies um, in order to get the best results. So I want to clarify strength in reverse. Two of cups. Strength in reverse, please. Let's clarify that. Yeah, Nine of Swords, fear. So if there is a connection here for some of you for love, 
you know, maybe there is some fear moving forward for others of you. If there's like an opportunity that has come in um, for something, you know, in your life or a change that you want to make, I would say definitely, you know, this month, try to find your inner strength to figure out what it is that's really going to make you happy. The lovers is a sign of Gemini, but you know, seeing this energy, it's like the universe is trying to align you with something, but you have to take that leap here. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing there's some fear surrounding this, some worry or concern. You've got that strength in reverse. For some of you, it may very well be emotional or your feelings about something or someone because we have the king of cups at the bottom so yeah someone's definitely in that introvert mode all right i'm going to pull one from the halloween oracle what is the guidance for taurus look at this ancestors the love and legacy of our dna all right, so I love this card. So ancestors, um, the love and legacy of our DNA, right? So for some, this very well may be some past life stuff that you are literally working through, you know, some karmic things. But also, you know, we are the product of our ancestors. So I feel like for some of you, you may be really called upon to step into your power that you were given at birth and you have the support of your ancestors who came before you so if you're struggling with finding your power in regards to something i see you really being asked to do that um, challenges or struggle struggles that are going on you have everything it takes you know walking in your ancestors footsteps they're there to support you i do see this as a big personal struggle for whoever resonates with this and finding that inner strength. Okay, so I'm going to pull one from the Flowers of the Night Oracle. And I'm going to close it up with some Love Oracle cards. Since this is general. So I feel like, you know, for those that need to hear this, you're stronger than you realize. Okay, so we have intuition and we have pleasure. So yeah, pleasure for some of you it is finding what literally gives you pleasure that doesn't have to be romantically but whatever really makes you happy in life for some it may very well be romance intuition listening to your intuition letting that guide you not getting too much in your head needing to follow that if you're letting your head lead the way rather than your heart i see that there's you know those personal struggles there so leading with love rather than fear. All right, so I'm going to close this reading up here. If this resonates with you, definitely let me know. I hope that you guys have an awesome month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.